Hey there guys, today I'm gonna to be building a small utility trailer that I can pull behind my quad for various projects around my property and for one really super cool project that I will tell you about at the end of this. But first let me show you what I'm gonna be building it out of because I am not building it from scratch like my other trailer. Uh, this one I am going to be assembling a kit that I found online from Northern Tool. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this from a kit versus uh, from scratch like the other one, uh, well, once I started doing the estimates on the leaf springs and the wheels and angle iron for a small trailer such as this, this kit ended up being by far the most cost effective solution. So essentially it is a 40 by 48 inch utility trailer kit. I'm gonna bolt it together and then after I do that, I will tell you the super special project that I'm gonna be using it for. After getting both packages unboxed, I do have to say that everything in the trailer was fairly easy to figure out where it went. Uh, I really didn't even have to touch the instructions until I got closer to installing the leaf springs. But you'll see here there's pretty much uh, six or seven main pieces to the frame. Uh, three cross pieces, two side rails, and pretty much one uh, tongue. Um, all the holes matched up pretty well and you're seeing in real time that uh, I didn't look at the instructions and everything kind of went together pretty easily. I did have to switch this middle member out uh, as the holes just weren't perfect and I flipped it around and everything matched up well. The other two boxes were pretty much all the lighting, wiring, and uh, the hangers for the leaf springs and this is what it looks like. One of the really nice things with this kit is that there was pretty much only two sizes of nuts and bolts. Pretty much 95% of everything went together with the smaller nut and bolt assemblies and then the four larger ones. Uh, it was pretty intuitive that they were going to be needed for the leaf springs or hangers or something like that. Uh, so you'll see there's some tight spaces but pretty much everything went together pretty darn easily. After the frame was all assembled, then I started on the leaf springs and the hanger assemblies. And this was really the first portion where I actually broke out the instructions just to double check and make sure I had them set up right. Uh, but again, it was pretty simple. And uh, with just a little forethought, uh, everything went together pretty darn quickly. After I got the axle set in place and attached to the leaf springs, it was now time to add the wheels and this was pretty simple. I simply removed a castle nut from the axle, slipped on the wheel assembly, and then replaced the castle nut. Um, I did not show uh, adding a retaining pin, which is pretty important in case you have a kit like this. And the last few things were to add the fenders, the coupler assembly, and then get the lights added and all wired together. Uh, you'll see here I've hooked up the trailer to my car and you'll see the lights are actually working. So that's always a good thing with electronics. And then I just finished it out with a piece of plywood that I painted black. Well, it's all finished now. I think it came out pretty damn cool. I have no doubt I will be using this thing on a ton of projects in the future. Uh, but first, let me get it hooked up to an actual vehicle to see how it pulls. And then I will tell you my first intended purpose for it.
One really cool thing about this trailer is that it is exactly the same size as your standard IBC tote. And as you can see here, I will probably be using this to haul various things around my property, sticks, twigs, trash, <laughs> you name it. And it also can fit pretty much any standard sized pallet. And it even pulls pretty nicely with the bike. A little harder coming uphill though. <laughs> And here is the first big project that's in store for this trailer. I plan to combine a selection of Craigslist finds to make a pneumatic powered brush fire trailer that I can pull with my quad. I do live in Arizona and we do get brush fires and spot fires from time to time along the roads and the communities around here and it's nice to have a little bit of pressurized water. So that'll be next time and until then I will leave you with this super cool footage of the super moon. <laughs> Looks like any full moon to me, but uh, I guess this one is super special. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.